Hello Gothic friends, Rasu is my name, welcome back to the world's let's play of the world Gothic Tulip Edition Hardcore. We are about to set out for Lord Caron and find the, the scrappers, but I just noticed that the guard is not at this door anymore, the door that we had last time to, to check if it's something inside there, so we still need to find the, the bloodfly extraction. Hopefully it is here because we got some keys and I don't know where we could use them. Oh, nothing. How oh, awesome. If not, later on we will check who were... Oh, another door key. So we have three door keys. Probably in the middle. They change the rooms. The layout of the rooms. We will have to also sleep. Leather satchel, okay. And a chest. Yeah, the animation is quite awesome. Damn it, nothing here. Absolutely nothing here. That means there is another door that we forgot. It's in the middle also on this level. Sadly, we have no spells to transform ourselves and hide from the orcs. I believe the first uh, path that we are going to take is the one to the Marcos. So this is the one with the key. No, it's not. This is not. This is the door with Gomez that we thought it was Gomez's door. It's this one. But we are not allowed to go inside, right? Let's check it. Yep, that was one. What are you creeping around there for? Smart kid. So, this is where we have to go, but we will do that later. When he's going to change his position again. Now we have to go and find the scrappers, the three teams that they sent out. We have a map, I believe, they gave us. Not this kind of map, we need the other one. Garants. So the three X's we can see on the map. That's why we go to the Marcos one. The one near the, the snowy region. Because that one is alone and the other ones we will do them together. Oh, this door is close. Why is it called gold? Bit weird. We can tell Milton that Garon wants 1000 for, hey, for his freedom. For freedoms of the Gorn. Garon wants 1000 gold pieces for Gorn. A nice sum. I can chip in 250 gold pieces. Nice, 250 from you, 250 we found the corn satchel, and Diego is going to chip in another 200, 300. Do we have a free bed for us to sleep? Oh, we do have, okay, at least that. Two more hours and then it's enough. Somehow two hours turned in as one one and a half hour. Okay, yeah, uh, we will explore the castle later on. But for for now we can go. And the spell would have been nice to transform and just roam around. Yep, nothing. Also, luckily, we we do have the sprinting mod that helps. There is an orc. It is a scout orc. That one has a crossbow and he can shoot from afar. Okay, we couldn't move. No, we can. Yeah, as you can see, he is... The sound as a horn is the one from the orc dogs. They make beautiful sounds. Thanks to this mod, we can actually just print. Right, we have to extract the, the dragon horn from the dragon snappers. 
we forgot to forgot about that. So the easiest way they told us is to go through the water. Not through the forest. And that's exactly what we are going to do. To swamp with, okay. In this cave, in the gothic one, it's absolutely nothing, it's just fun that there is a cave, but here I believe there are some things. Okay, we got a spell. Transform into Dragon Snapper, okay, we can do that. Just to run away. Probably that's good if we want to go to... The guy that can teach us some, some things. I keep getting this uh, Steam community thing while playing. A bit weird. Yeah, there are more orcs. But apparently if we use the lever we are going to be safe. So they say. There is a lurker. So when where there are generic enemies then... There we can deal some damage. There was an orc, I believe. Yeah, we can hear it. It did hit us from afar. Right? Yeah. Luckily he did two shots and then stopped. So they actually made it... Even harder, as you guys can see, because there are those melee, well, not melee, but range orcs now. What's that? So there are some NPCs here. Yeah, it's so scary. This is literally very scary now. It's not a piece if we have went to Yarkandar oh boy. The aim in this version is speechless. So as I was saying, if we would have went to the Yarkandar and we would come here, we would be so strong that we could kill everyone. Halt. Stop right okay. where you are. Okay. Uh, no problem. Really? Another large little lamb, huh? First, I took you for one of those evil bats to do a haunt in the area. I can see you're probably not one of them. You look much too harmless. Are you sure? I'm going to take your money. You look like a hunter who doesn't know what to do with his time. <laughs> yep, you got a point there. But what am I to do? I can't get back across the pass. So I'm just staying here doing what I do best. I'm sorry, though, for my pal Engram. Come close to my fire and warm yourself up. Okay. Are you a former prisoner of the barrier? No, no. What are you thinking? I actually meant to strike it rich out here. Someone from around here told me that these are the best hunting grounds there are. Rich pickings, if you know what I mean. The only thing that's to be had here since those orcs have shown up is a punch in the face, if you venture out too far. And I let those idiots put a flea in my ear. I know those jokers. What jokers? You seem to be doing all right, though. Oh well, I guess I can't complain. In spite of those blasted orcs, the area is by the river the least dangerous. Looks like they don't dare go near the water. Mm, just a coincidence, maybe. So that's how we learn also that the uh, orcs are afraid of the, by the river? water. Not a question. Just take a stroll along the river, and you'll know what I'm hunting here. Lurkers, of course. Well, those things aren't easy to catch, but they taste all the better for it. Once in a while, I stumble across a scavenger, too. I don't turn up my nose at those, either. Why are you sorry for Engram? Yeah, the guy is so down. Because he simply followed down. me without asking any questions. And now we've gotten ourselves into this mess. Greed doesn't pay after all. Yeah, tell me about it. Can you teach me something about hunting? I see. So you've acquired a taste for it now. All right, but it'll cost you. What do you want for it? Would you happen to have anything to eat other than lurker meat? Maybe a hunk of cheese? 
Yeah, a hunk of cheese. I could die for a hunk. I'll see what I can do. The only one wants food in this valley of mines. Really, you got some? Oh man, it's been ages since I ate something like that. Thank you. So now, uh, what about a lesson? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. What can you teach me? What do you want to know? Art Shadow Beast Horn. We have to get that also. Shadow Beast Horns are very hard and can be used to create statues or tools. Statues. What do you want? Claws and heart. We don't need those. So, oh, we are going to level up anyway. We need more dexterity for Diego. Be able to steal from him. Give us your stuff. Five gold only. Crappy. Hmm. What else should I say? Nothing but up and down this damned river for days. Orcs lurking on the left, bandits hanging around on the right, and every day I eat lurker meat. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, tell me about it. It's still good. Ever considered getting out of here? Yeah, sure. No problem at all. First, I'll carve my way through the hordes of orcs, say hello to all the other monsters that are all over the place, and then I just stroll right across the pass. That would be quite a trick. I got in here too. Are you trying to tell me you just came across the pass? Yes, we did. Yes. Then you got lucky. As long as things are so messed up around here, I'm not going to budge. How's the hunting? Hunting is my only consolation. But I'd like to see a target once in a while, other than these disgusting lurkers. Yep. So I know that. Oh, we can get down here, but there are some. Yeah, let's kill those because there is a new pet that got added here. What the hell? Where did you come from? Boy, are you kidding me? These guys. Yeah. How did he get up there? The guy was untargetable. Yeah, stop. Why? Something was hitting me from behind. Yeah, this is scary. They can teleport somehow. Probably the, the path is bugged. Nothing to be had there. Boy, the bandits there. We cannot do anything to them. They are way too powerful. But I want to get those. I don't know if they are going to mess up with the guys up there, but apparently not. So if we learn one more time Dex... Oh boy, this is bad. Yep. You cannot run because the, as soon as the bow is out and you try to... Ah, we forgot to save. We are so bad. But weird, the guys are not aggroing them with us. Yeah, we are wasting so many arrows because for 5 health we have to use another arrow. Boy. That guy took less damage. There you go. Now I'm going to save. As I said, there are the bandits. They are very powerful. 
They have bows. There is no way we can deal with them. I hear no more goblins here. Probably we cleared it finally. Or no loot, right? Two potions. Unbelievable, nothing. So we know where one guy is. So the guy, the Marcos, is here. We will talk to him. Yeah, he's going to get our rats. Nice. She didn't kill any of them. So we know Marcos is here. Halt in the name of Inos. I am Marcos, Paladin of the Key. Marcos, you are Marcos, aren't you, Marcos? Relax. We're working for the same boss, Lord Hagen. Since when does Lord Hagen hire mercenaries? Speak. What do you want here? Get your wallet. Three hundred eighty. Thank you for donation. Much ore is ready for transport. Tell Garon that I had to leave the mining site because the orc attacks became too intense. I tried to reach the castle with a few people, but I am the only survivor. I have stored the ore safely. There are four chests. Go to Garon and report that to him. Tell him I will guard the ore with my life, but I don't know how long it will be before the orcs find me here. Tell him to send me some support. I'll let him know. So, four ores, chest of ores, is that a lot? I don't know, how, how much was it in Gothic 1? How much were they mining? Yeah, fine, bastard source. He doesn't mind us picking up some stuff here. Nope, that's wrong. There are actually four chest ores also. Like in the game, not just saying, but literally there are four. And we have a mission from the very, very beginning for from Cavalorn. Cavalorn's leather bag. Arrows are more than welcome. So, we found one of them. The other guy. Nothing there. It's somewhere else. There we might have to use the... Ah, whatever has the digger... Uh, the old coins cannot be looted with a fast looting mod. So we cannot go there. We will have to go out with Diego anyway. And in order to do that, we will have to use this route. We might as well just go there and clear ourselves because, well, the aggro range is quite bad. Oh my, the missing chance, look. They so mess it up with a aim. They made it so hard. Here we have a lot of lurkers. <coughs> we have a mission for them, for, for them anyway. Yeah. Boy, look. This is weird. It's unbelievable how much damage they can deal to us. Because we cannot aim correctly. They simply made it too hard. Lightfish. We know what's in the lightfish. Do those have to die also? I believe so. Because there are two guys in a cave that will tell us to kill the lurkers. Yeah, 
Yeah, from here is no way we can hit them. Have to kill those because, as I said, we will have to get here with Diego and. Oh, we have to kill. Oh, there's a goblin up there. We have. We have aim at a goblin, I believe. Oh, sorry. Wanted to sprint, but somehow we opened that window. There are two guys in the uh, in a cave back there, and they want us to kill all the lurkers around their beach. And I believe those count as one of the lurkers. Oh boy! No, a snapper. Okay. Yeah, that's close to the Marcos. Uh, oh boy, the aim. Those are close to the Marcos. Sorry, kept getting distracted. Close to the Marcos uh, mining site. Oh boy, look at the aim. Yeah, that's that's bad. We cannot do that. Yeah, damn it. I thought we were much stronger. We are strong, the problem is our aim. Our aim is the one that sucks. Sucks the health out of us. There is a stream into the river that it tries to push us back to the old camp. Come on, hit it. If we can hit them, it's we are quite strong, but if we don't hit them, then we are weak. Look, finally, saving, uh, I know, the graphic is about saving if you play a hardcore, if you play a easy game, then it's easy. Yeah, again, a mistake. Okay, this is better. This went better than before. Arrow dropped once again. We got light fish, Cavalons back, we give it to him, and another light fish. We need to heal ourselves. Behind that cave there is some goodies. We have a transform spell, the snapper one, that we could totally use to avoid many enemies. The goblins are up there, that we hear. Nice. More spells here. Oh, a chest even. Yeah, the arrow bug is still there. Going to be there forever. Seven arrows, that's quite good. That's 35 gold, only gold. But they are quite rare. So far I only know about boss per selling them. Like uh, replenishing them when you want to buy them. And one more lurker. Perfect. This is the road that we have to take with the Bilgat, the Marson, uh, the militia guy that wants to go get out of the cave, out of the cave, out of the valley of mines. And Diego, they don't want to go near the orcs. I believe Bilgat can go. Hold. Hold. You haven't come to send me back into the ore mines, have you? I'm a mercenary, not a guy of the no king. Way I'm going back. What are you doing out here? Stupid question. Hiding! What else? Those militia swines have their spies everywhere, you know. I'm not going back into the mine and that's final. Oof, why are you yelling? Give us your five gold. That roast smells good. Don't! Touch! Will not touch it, don't worry. Another light fish. Kervo. Yeah, we want your money also. And gold. What's wrong with you? You have to ask that. Just look around you. I'm looking. There is Have you tried getting through to the pass? Do I look insane to you? Is there another Some lurker? Yeah, there is another lurker here, somehow. As long as those beasts are out there. I despise those things. I only have to smell them, and I break out in a cold sweat. 
and their constant gurgling makes the blood freeze in my veins. If you're that eager to have them skin you alive, go right ahead. What did you guys get here? What would you give me if I killed the things? Hmm. Well, it would be enough if those lurkers in front of the cave would disappear. I found a lump of ore. I would give it to you in exchange. Yeah, that's a good exchange, right? In the original. Oh, they respawned. Put away that weapon. In the original, one lump of ore was nothing, but here, look, it's worth so much. Good thing that you guys respawned. More experience for us. But this went quite good. Yeah, can't complain about it. That went quite smoothly. We level up. Okay, we can get the 5 dexterity that we need for Diego. And the new bow, actually. Yeah, they don't mind us taking the 5 gold they have. I'm curious how those guys got here. Careful, we kill them. The lurkers in front of the cave are gone. Great. Now I can breathe again at last. Here's what I promised you. Will you cross the pass now? Forget it, man. If they catch me, they'll take me back to the mines. I'm staying put. Good decision, guys. <clears throat> Stay here and get beaten. So, we can go further ahead. This is also the way to the other scrappers' uh, spots. Ooh, we still need a pickaxe. What with? We hear some goblins somewhere. Are they aiming at us? Yeah, they already go after us. How oh, about the aim? Right in front of us. We cannot. Okay, never mind. I thought that we cannot snipe, uh, snipe that guy. I know that Diego is quite strong and he can take out some of the enemies, but he's not immortal in this version, so. Ooh. We will have to come here anyway in the later chapters and clear everything. Until then, we can just go. Go ahead and. Take the route that the guys are going to take. Bill got and Diego. What's the oh? It looked like a paladin to me that the blood fights were. As looking like it's a long way to get to Diego. Oh boy, that's no bueno. Sometimes we can snipe them from far away, sometimes up close we don't hit them. We are wasting a lot of arrows. Here should be a goblin berry. Yes, there it is. We need it because we need dexterity. The goblin berry is very worth it. I, I believe here was supposed to be a, a scroll of some sort. We still haven't found the lot like extraction from the sting. We cannot take the stings anyway out. But we have one, one sting from somewhere. Okay, that went okay. That went good. Because it doesn't matter, we still take damage from them. One of them are not the right ways. Arrow. Come here. I believe this is not a good way. I don't believe that this is going to take us anywhere close to the guys. Walking stick. Why would anyone store a walking stick here? There are orcs. Okay, that means that's not the way to go. But the works are also a problem, right? There is a work. How much damage are we dealing to them? If not, then we will just have to run and then come with Diego and kill them. 
have to check it if it's only one or it's 10 of them. Oh, okay, we deal okay damage. Hopefully we don't get one shot. Another arrow, whatever. Okay, it looks cleared. There are a lot of enemies here, strong enemies. We just have to take the right route. Then we are safe, somewhat safe. Snipers, okay, I see them. If we can lure them, then... Then we are safe to go. Start hitting, please. Great. Oh, there are more snappers, okay. Oh, we are not far away from the next level up. That was not too good. That was not smart. Okay, we managed to tank quite a few. More healing through the mid, the skill that we had to learn. Okay, we are... what's that? Snapper, okay, let's get it before he ambushes us. We can kill Shadow Beast from now on. Because we can remove their horn. So, this is the way. There might be some orcs. Not sure, but I believe there are some orcs. Oh, yeah. Can we hit them from afar? From up here? We have to save and try it. Otherwise, we have to use some powerful spells. Ah, we deal quite weak damage to them yet. We will have to get a better bow. With a better bow we will deal more damage. More dexterity, better damage. Oh, there are more. Okay. Oh, this is not good. They can climb up here. Ooh, that was luck. That was pure luck. Ooh, the shaman can hit us from afar. Normally the orc can climb up, right? Oh, that's a nice way to hit them. <laughs> Perfect, okay. A bit cheesing, but... We all know that we are... Hunter. We can make use of our high ground and... Whatever we can think of. That's where you died. Orc, York. Oh, I see some movement. There are works, right? If it's only one, then there is no problem. Oh, there is another one. Lucky for us that we only pulled one. There is no way we can hit them from far away, right? Okay, never mind. Yeah, that, that makes them quite hidden. Where did we kill it? There are blood flies, okay. How did we lose an orc and work? So where is the Yeah this look at this? Looks so different, but oh we can see everything now. Looks ugly without it, but if we want to see things, we have to use this. 
Yeah, it looks quite ugly without it, but... Look at this. Look at how it changed everything now. Oh, there is another orc. We have to get Diego. We will talk to him, but we will not take him yet out because I believe we cannot go to Bilgo the other otherwise. Where were you guys hidden? Oh, I hope the orcs are not going to come to aggro us. A knight? Yeah, of course, we cannot take everything with the best loot because they have an old coin. Two knights being dead by wolves. Unbelievable. So, here we have our old good old friend, Diego. Finally, we met you, my friend. Do hey, you remember us? I thought you were dead. Yeah. Miss your good voice. So I was. But now I'm back and I'm trying to prove that the dragons are really here. Who are you doing that for? I work for Lord Hagen. With the help of the paladins, the dragons can be stopped. The paladins? Can they? Let me tell you something. After I managed to flee from here, I went to Corinus. I wanted to warn the paladins about the dragons. Heaven knows why I even tried. That puffed up Lothar didn't even listen to me and certainly didn't let me talk to Lord Hagen. Instead, they sent me back here with the expedition. So don't talk to me about paladins. You hate the them, right? The important thing is to stop the dragons as long as there's still time. No matter who helps us achieve that. Stop them? We should get our asses out of this valley as long as we still have time for that. Say, how did you manage to get across the pass? I thought that it was swarming with orcs. There's Not a path sure. through the abandoned mine, which isn't held by orcs. That's good to know. Then I will head for Corinus before long. I've got a few old accounts to settle there. Yeah, can you teach me something first? Can you teach me something? Sure, what would you like to know? Dexterity, please. Perfect. Now you you're... gained a little dexterity already. A little? That's a lot, my friend. Like, look here. Hmm? 600 gold. Listen, I need this proof. Alright, I'll help you if I can, but I'm not gonna stick my neck out for anyone. I'm traveling on behalf of Garand. He needs to know how much ore has been mined so far. And then he will give you the proof you want? That's right. Hopefully, yes. So, can you tell me anything about it? There are four chests of ore here in the back of the cave. Silvestro's people mine them. Garand is welcome to come and get them, but I won't be here then. Does that mean we have only or eight or chests that we are not How did you come have them in the safety? I was with Silvestro's group. We had been prospecting for several days when Silvestro suddenly became nervous. He said that we should take the ore to a safe place. Well, since I was planning to skedaddle anyway, I volunteered to hide the ore. And that was lucky for me because the scrapers met with a few mine crawlers and none of them survived. Yeah, that's a bit weak. Like a couple paddings couldn't kill a couple mind crawlers. The two dead knights in front of your hideout. They met their doom during a fight with a group of snappers. Well, the Valley of Mines has its own rules. I told them so, but they wouldn't listen to me. What do I need to know about the valley? Since the fall of the barrier, a few things have changed around here. The orcs are now in charge. We humans are nothing but fodder for the true rulers of the valley, the dragons. Stay away from anything that is stronger than you, and avoid everything that resembles a dragon. Good advice. I want to buy Gorn his freedom, but Garand is asking 1,000 pieces of gold. A tidy sum of gold. I've got 300 gold pieces on me. You can take them. The rest is up to you. Thank you. That means we got 800 gold in total. 200 we have to pay. So we will get Diego once we get the guy. The Bilgot. Because I don't know if Diego goes with us to Bilgot. And I don't want to go two times the same route. To bring them out of the valley. Guess we are going to make a cut here. We got quite 
a lot of stuff. We can equip our new bow. Yes, this is the noble arch bow. 30, de 30 damage extra plus the 5 from the dexterity that we use. That's 35 extra damage plus 5 bow talent. Yes, that's very good. So, in the next episode, we are going to meet the, the last scrapper group, take the guys out of the, money, uh, the valley, then we will go to Geron, report to him, and we will go out of this valley. It's quite dangerous for us. We cannot really do a lot of stuff here. So thank you very much guys for joining me, I'll see you in the next episode, be cool and bye bye!